In this video, we are going to talk about scatter plots. Scatter plots helps us to visualize the relationship between two variables, specifically two continuous variables. Now you can take x axis one variable, y axis on another variable, and we can analyze whether it's a increasing trend or it's a decreasing trend or there is no relation between both of them. So you can study different kinds of relational analysis using scatter plots. Now we will understand this scatter plot by taking few examples. First, I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So I'll declare two variables. The two variables are uh, sales and uh, units. So we need to use numpy as well. So I've declared sales. Now I'm going to declare units. Now we will try to understand the relationship between uh, these two variables by using plt.scatter sales comma units. Because the both the data that is given here is uh, random. Now we can see that we have created a scatter plot at randomly and there is no pattern because these both variables are random values. Otherwise you can see a decreasing trend like this or an increasing trend. You can observe different kinds of trends. Now scatter is a command that is used to generate the scatter plots. I'm going to add some customization x label which is sales units let's add title it's a study of sales versus units let's put some colors So we have just pl plotted sales versus units analysis and then uh, we customize this by using few commands. Now in this graph, what you are observing is we have a lot of data points and all the data points are represented in a same color. We can also customize these data points with different colors as well. It's just that when you have too many observations, it doesn't make sense to customize each a marker that is present inside this graph. So I'll take a different example and we will try to show you how you can customize each color as well. So first uh, let's import this matplotlib plt then we have numpy. First I'm going to declare a random numpy array with some values. Same way I'll declare another uh, numpy array in this time I'm going to pass uh, different values like 86, 87, 80. So we got both values right now. Now we will try to plot scatter. We will write x comma y. Let's put show. So the default color that it's taking is a blue color and uh, there is a decreasing trend. Like it started with the top and it's slowly coming down. Now let's customize these colors that are present inside this particular uh, histogram. For this, I'm going to declare a variable called colors and I will store different color names in an array. So that will be colors equal to np dot uh, array. So let's add different color names like red, green, blue, yellow, black, pink, orange, purple. So we will just go and keep on adding these um, colors. The number of colors should be matched with the number of uh, values that which I have uh, used above. So I'll just put uh, gray. So 
So now once I have the array of uh, colors, so I'm just going to use this command called C equal to colors. So now I got different colors and uh, for each observation is represented with that particular color. So if this is red, I have just highlighted three values, 5, 95 and uh, as well as, uh, sorry, 5, 99 and red. So if you see red here, this is 5 and 99 and it's color coded with red. So this is how you can represent a histogram with different color values. We can also add a color map, C map. The color maps in matplotlib are a custom color categories that are created to display different values. So what are these custom color categories? So let's see CMAP examples. If you notice, this is a custom set of colors uh, under uh, CMAP. Let's see grays. It starts with a light gray and you have a series of colors. Purples, it starts with colors, it's right? blues, greens. Like this, we have series of uh, color combinations and we can use these color combinations while displaying graphs. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll create my own CMAP. So instead of these color value names, I'll just pass some values first. 0, 10, 20, 30, 50, 60, 60, 80, 90, 100. So this is like I have uh, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 V. And then we will introduce 45, 50. We will also introduce 55, 60, 70, 80. Just to match with the number of values that is present here. We have created this. Now I'm going to add a command called cmap equal to Veridis. I'll show you what is Veridis colors of a cmap. Now we will add something called color bar. So we have just added cmap. We also put color bar. Let's see what it looks like. So what we have done in CMAP here is Viridis color so this is the series of colors that are present in Viridis. It starts with a dark blue and green a combination of green finally it ends up as yellow. Now I have selected Viridis here so all the data points that are present are starting with a particular color which is in this case dark blue and it went till yellow so it started here and it went till the last value so for that what i did here for that i've just given a color scale first a numerical values for the color scale and then i've used this where it is to display this c map i've just used plt dot color bar now if you don't specify this you will not have the color bar present on the right side so you have a color bar and as well as you have the scatter plot associated with it and we have displayed the complete information to understand the distribution between the two data points we also highlighted certain sections with the different colors so that it will be easy to spot on which section refers to what kind of relation this is how you will be using these scatter plots in your uh, real-time work and you will use these scatter plus extensively in exploratory data analysis.